In this video, I'm going to be doing a basic demonstration of the NumPy financial module. And I have the documentation page here. And we can see that the functions available are very similar to what you might find in Excel. All right. And they work very similarly. All right. So I'm going to be using this to demonstrate loan payments. And I'm going to be using PyCharm. So the first thing we're going to do then is fire up PyCharm and start a new project. Okay, and you can name the project whatever you want, and you can use the folder button here to navigate to where you want to save it. All right, once you hit create, it's going to just take a couple of seconds to index and create this project. Okay, once your project is created, the next thing you're going to want to do is to install the NumPy financial module. And there's a couple of ways to do that. You can go through the file menu and settings and then select the Python interpreter and then click the plus button here. All right, but this tends to be a little slow, so I'm going to do an alternative method. All right, down at the bottom of the PyCharm window, I'm going to open a terminal session. And once the terminal is open, I'm just going to type pip install numpy financial okay and uh, this should just take a couple of seconds and you can see that it's already installed on my computer all right once it's installed you can just test that it actually worked so we can open a python console and try importing it okay so no error so it has now been imported all right and then with that done we can go ahead and try it out so i'm gonna go up to the project folder here, right click and select new Python file and I'll just call it demo. All right, I'm gonna start off by just copying a link to the documentation into this file. Okay, so in case you need a reference, there is a quick reference page. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start writing the demo. So I'm going to import NumPy Financial and I'm gonna give it an alias, so N P F. All right, so that will make it so I don't have to type the whole name of the module every time I want to access one of the functions in it. Okay, I'll just be able to type MPF instead. For this demo, I'm just going to set a few variables, the amount of money I'm borrowing, the interest rate, and the length of the loan. So I'll call it present value, and we'll borrow 300,000. The rate will be 4%. And then the length of the loan will be 30 years. Okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and calculate the monthly payment on that loan. And so I'm going to reference the MPF module. And then I'm going to use the PMT function. All right, it takes three arguments at a minimum. It needs an interest rate. It needs the number of periods or payments in your loan. And then it needs the present value. All right, so the interest rate is going to be corrected for a monthly value. All right, so you don't pay 4% per month. You pay one twelfth of that. All right, and then the length of the loan is going to be the term. All right, and then the present value is just going to be the present value. All right, but if I leave it like this, I'm going to get a negative payment. All right, so the best thing to do is to multiply the whole thing by negative 1. I can do that just by putting the minus sign in front of present value. All right, and then I'm just gonna store this in a new variable, I'll call it PMT. All right, with that done, we might as well print out the payment. All right, I'm gonna use an F string, and I'm going to reference that variable, and I'm gonna format it as a comma-separated two decimal floating point number. All right, and uh, I'll put the dollar sign in front of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. I'm going to right click and select run demo. And there's our monthly payment for the loan where we borrowed $300,000. Okay, you can also calculate the interest part of that payment and the principal part of the payment. All right, so some of the payment goes towards paying back the $300,000 and some of it goes towards interest, the cost of borrowing the money. All right, so the functions for that in NumPy Financial are I payment for interest and P payment for principal. Okay, both of these require 
an additional argument, all right, it needs to know what period of the loan you are talking about. All right, so as we go on, we pay less interest and more principal. All right, so in the first payment, it's mostly interest, and then it goes down slightly every month until we retire the loan. All right, other than that, it works pretty much the same, right? We're going to put the rate in. We're going to divide it by 12. We're going to, for this example, just calculate it for the first period. All right, the number of periods is the term. And then once again, we're going to use the negative PV. All right, I'm just going to copy all this and update it. All right, so instead of I payment, it's going to be P payment. All right, and then down here, right, I'm going to print those components out. Okay, and then we can run that. Okay, so in the first payment, right, we always pay fourteen thirty two twenty five. All right, the first payment we pay one thousand in interest and the principal gets reduced by 432.25. Okay, sometimes you want to do something like present an amortization table. And to do that, I am going to modify this slightly. All right, so I'm going to stick all this stuff inside a for loop. All right, and we're going to start at month one, and we're going to go all the way to the term, and we're going to have to add one to that to get the 360 payment. Okay, I'm going to stick all this stuff inside the for loop. Okay, and then I'm just going to modify it slightly so that we get the amortization piece, right? The debt is actually getting retired. All right, so to index to the current month that you're in, in the for loop, right, I'm just going to replace the number one with the index variable in the for loop and do the same for the principal. All right, I am going to uh, reformat the components here. All right, so I'm going to make it an F string. I'm going to format the payment as a two decimal float with the comma separator. Okay, and I'm going to put the dollar sign in front of it. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other two components. Okay, and then we will just print the output and instead of having three print statements, we'll just use one. All right, I'll modify it. Okay, and then I'll just place my components in there. Okay, and I'm going to make them each 15 characters wide. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, and so there you have it, a basic amortization table. Obviously, uh, it could use some headings, right? It might you might want to put the you know the the month number that you are in along the the left column here, right? Headings on the top, uh, that kind of thing. All right, and then you know you know you can do other things like keep track of how much interest you've paid over the life of the loan, how much principal you've paid. All right, and then um, the total cost of the loan as derivatives. Okay, but that should help you get started with the NumPy financial module.